Now before we download the emulator, first let's create a folder on our desktop. So let's right click, new, folder, and let's name it Wonderswan. Now let's open our browser. This website will be in the description below. This is emulatorzone.com and this is where we're going to be downloading Oswan. Let's go ahead and click on Oswan 1.73 and your download should start. Once it's finished, go ahead and click on it. We can exit out of our browser and let's just drag all of our downloaded files into the Wonderswan folder. Now let's open the folder. And this is what your emulator is going to look like. Let's open it. Now let's go up to options and go to configure. Now if you're going to be using a keyboard with this emulator, you select keyboard and you can map your keys out here. All you want to do is just click on whatever button you're ready to set up. It's going to turn blue and then you hit that key. If you're going to do a controller, you go to joypad in the same situation click on the button you're ready to change and then click on that button on your controller in my case i'm going to be using an xbox one controller you can use a ps4 controller as well as a wired controller now your buttons will be mapped out already for you so once you load up a game in this emulator your controller will work but if you would like to change them here is how you can change your button layout now the button layout on a wonder swan was very confusing it was almost like you had two directional pads so i'm gonna leave you guys a picture and you can pause the video if you want before you map your buttons out now when you're downloading wonder swan games you do not have to extract your games they will work in their raw format i already have a game downloaded on my desktop which is digimon digital monsters there's two ways to open your game you can go to file open locate wherever your game is on your computer or you can just drag the game file into the emulator and the game will load now to increase your screen size you want to go up to options video size and you can go up to three times four times or full screen I would not go full screen for some reason when you go full screen with this emulator you will get a draw error I'm not sure why so I'm just going to increase this to four times and when you're ready to save your game you just go up to file and save state and choose a slot.